Hi friends, welcome to my channel. Today we'll see how to install Palo Alto VM on my workstation 14 Pro. Let me locate that file. Okay, here's the file. Let me import this file to workstation 14 Pro. Uh, let's name it. Uh, this might take some time. Let's wait. Let me pause the video for some time. Okay, we are almost done. All right, um, let me just show you the configuration here. Uh, memory 4.5 GB, two processors, 60 GB. Well, this is a standard uh, configuration according to uh, the file. Okay, I have two network adapters, both of them in uh, bridged mode. Looks pretty clean. Let's power it on. Uh, by the way, this particular uh, firewall will uh, actually use the DHCP to obtain the IP address dynamically from my base machine. So we expect uh, dynamic IP to be assigned to this particular VM so that we can uh, access this particular firewall from, from my base machine. And since we have used a bridged network adapter, so uh, it is going to use the same gateway as my base machines are gateway. I don't think it will let us use, okay, let me try this. So reason for this is uh, because the VM is trying to install all the background processes on the task. Once it is done with that, we'll be able to uh, log in to the firewall. Uh, let's wait for some time. In the meantime, you will see the dynamic IP assigned to the in management interface. Uh, you can get, uh, get this particular OVF file from uh, Palo Alto's official website. Okay, let me try one more time. Nope, still installing something. Okay, as you can see, we have received the dynamic IP 192.168.16.3. I hope it will let us Oh man Finally we are in the box let me get to the configuration mode and let me first check the IP. Okay, uh, so uh, the IP is 16.13. Let me check the service. As you can see, HTTP is disabled. HTTPS is enabled, so let me try to quickly enable the HTTP. Mm -hmm. 
so I have enabled it. Let me commit the change. All right, if there is any issue, then this firewall will not let me commit those changes. Okay, now let me quickly check the service time. Okay, so we have HTTP running. Let's get back to the base machine. Where is it? Oh, let me first check the connectivity. Okay, we have the connectivity. Same credential admin admin shut letters. Okay, it says we are using the default admin credential and we are supposed to change it, and that we'll do later. That's it for today, guys. Uh, next video will be how to configure the device. And we'll get into the security aspects in the next uh, video. Thank you for watching my video and uh, do subscribe for next update.